A women's self-defense class was held today to raise money for Marissa Nichols' family. Now, as you probably know, she's the 14-year-old girl who was recently murdered in Red Bluff. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Jerry O'Lennon. And I'm Shay Arthur. It was held at Team Quest in Reading and was sponsored by a handful of local groups, including the Reading Police Department. KRCR News Channel 7's Chelsea Kay was there. Don't mess Stay with me. Stay away from me. Don't mess I with me. I will pound you. More than a hundred women and girls gathered at Team Quest for a donation-only self-defense class. I've got my ear bump, my eye gouge, my popping up in the nose. I've got my 12, 6 o'clock elbows, and I've got my rabid elbows. Yes, he's not going to want to sit here for too long. Jeremy Johnson coached the group with the help of Reading Police Officer Chris Hunt. He says while it's upsetting to see so much violence across the North State, it's also a reality. A lot of domestic violence, a lot of assaults on the streets. We just want to be really proactive in empowering the women in our community to be able to take their streets back. Johnson instructs a variety of classes, including Monster Camp, which is a youth violence prevention class. He says this event gives women the basics for protecting themselves. Step behind. The lesson, being aware of dangerous situations before they happen. We look behind us, we look around us, we're aware of our surroundings while we're walking to our car. We've got our pepper spray in one hand and we've already got our keys in the other hand. Some of the participants came for reassurance. Sometimes I have to sit at the bus stop for a little while until my dad gets there. I wanted to feel safe with her, you know, being able to prepare herself that if she was attacked. Others said they want to be sure they're prepared for any situation. It's just nice to be able to think that you can defend yourself and know that you're going to be like, oh, you want to come at me? I'll come at you equally. One 14-year-old participant even recently found herself in a panic. I actually had someone follow me like a couple days ago. Now she says she'll be ready if it ever happens again. I actually didn't know what to do, so it's nice now to know. And then there were some who came and made it a family affair. We're bonded and just it, it makes us strength, you know what I mean? Johnson says no matter the purpose for coming, the goal was to have each woman walk out feeling safer and confident that they can defend themselves. Just standing your ground and letting these people know that, you know, you'll fight for yourself, you'll protect yourself if you have to. Chelsea Kay, KRCR News Channel 7. Johnson will be hosting a similar class for women on Fridays for $5. For information on that, you can go to our website at krcrtv.com. And if you'd like to drop off a donation for Marissa Nichols' family, there's a donation box at Team Quest.